video. Um, so we just came off a win where we basically beat the Seahawks like 49 to 14 or some shit. Um, so if you want to go check that out, it's in the last video. I pretty much Start just did the game for that video. I didn't even scouting or, or much scouting or any of that. Uh, here we got the Colts coming up. I don't know if I'll, I don't know what game I'm going to play to be completely honest. I'm not going to play at all 16. I might play at least five or six. I uh, kind of want to see what the Colts roster is looking like at this point. So, let's see. Let's see who they got. Quentin Nelson is their best player. Jadavion Clowney ended up going to them. Hilton is still pretty solid. Darius Leonard's pretty good, 88 overall, 26. Is he a, he's a superstar? He's not an X Factor. Um, hold on, let me make sure my sound is working. Testing. Okay, it works. Dope. Um, so they they got some solid players. They got Darius Slay. I didn't expect them to get like someone like him. Uh, Marlon Mack still pretty good. I think Marlon Mack is like one of those running backs. He's pretty good, but if he get he just gets hurt a lot. If I'm being honest. Let's go through their who they got at QB. They got Andy McKenzie. So they're the ones who drafted him. Damn, 87 speed. That's fucking good ass stats for a rookie. They also got Kyle Trask, who they, I guess they drafted him, but they never, like, they didn't really give him a lot of a chance to get to develop, did they? He's normal dev, so I guess that's why. He's not, like, all that. He's still pretty good, though, for backup. They didn't even, like, Jonathan Taylor's playing with him still. Fisher Bell, he was a rookie, I saw. He's only on normal devs. Good speed though. They got some. They got two decent tight ends. That's pretty cool. They got like three good tight ends. What the fuck? Costanzo still there. Not much has changed for their team. Braden Smith is still there. They got Jade Avion, obviously. Justin Houston is playing end for them now. Uh, Bobby Okir K. I can't say that guy's name. Anthony Walker. They signed Vince Williams. Uh, secondary is pretty solid. Rocky Sin is. What's his development? Oh, that's Star. That's not terrible. I thought it was like normal. They also drafted Devon Denard Haval, which. I mean, he's not bad, but it's like, I don't get why. I, I feel like they could have used that somewhere else. So overall, it's a solid team. I'm probably going to up the sliders just a little bit on certain things. Just because it felt a little too easy at times to play certain things. So for the QB, Q, CPU skill, we'll upgrade pass defense, reaction time, pass coverage. I think that's what we'll up upgrade. Yeah, well, I guess we'll play this one. Um, let's see if there's any like thing on the trade block that I'm kind of like that would be decent for us to get. Don't really need Teddy Bridgewater, Jamie Newman would be a cool backup QB, but we already got two that are solid. Kareem Hunt is always on the trade block, but it's like he, they ask for a lot for him usually. And we have good running backs, so that's pointless. Dallas Goddard. Not much here, to be honest. Jalen, are you in the chat? I'm 
Marcus Joyner? He's old as dirt nowadays. I mean, he's not that old, but he's still 30. Malcolm Jenkins. Damn, he regressed. Hamsa Nazir Eldin. I think that's how you say his name. Jeez. Yeah, nothing really. Nothing really all that crazy in there. We're going to try to play the Colts here. Jay Leonard, you in the chat? Can't wait till I get up like a uh, face cam. Could all see my rage moments and shit. Comment below if you're here. Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Indianapolis Colts. Coach, this is the city, Los Angeles, California. That's where we are for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Indianapolis Colts and the Los Angeles Rams. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. All right, let's see. we got to watch out for Anna McKenzie to like break out the line. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. It'll go as a loss of three right away. That play took down. so long to develop. We were just talking about it pregame. <laughs> three tackles for a loss last week. You thought he looked so explosive on film. Starting off good there. Another one in the first quarter. He's every bit of what you described. And I don't want to make it too simplistic, but right yeah. now for him, it's play. see ball, get ball. And that's what he's doing really, really well, is doing it in the yeah, offensive backfield. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis, and oh, also oh, oh. move the sticks. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 10 catches, 89 yards. And what we just saw there was exactly what they need against this oh, defense. Bat. Big plays. They were Robert able to get the first down on that one. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. On second down, here's a run with Mack. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on run downs. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. To throw on third down. McKenzie, they'll run the screen with Mack. Down. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. You're going to get so forward. unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all God, your guys who want to get after the quarterback. Yeah. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Rams will get it at the 20. Let's go. Eight, three. Silver, silver. go. On first down, Lawrence. Fuck. And a big okay. loss here as he's taken down. The linebacker, Darius Leonard, applied the heat. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Off play action, Lawrence. I couldn't do anything. Traffic, man. And it's Fuck. intercepted. Picked off by Darius okay. Leonard, the linebacker. And his guys will take over at the 14-yard line in the red zone. On first and 10, McKenzie, he finds Taylor, complete. And he's taken down at the 7 after a gain of 7. 7 yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Second down now. Nope. It's Mack. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. From the 
the gun on third down. McKenzie, he completes this one to Mack. Uh, did he even get that? And boy, he is nope. very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the no, touchdown that they that. wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three. I didn't even get a chance. Come on, man. He goes down. It was Justin Houston, the native of Statesboro, Georgia, Georgia with a sack. So after the sack here, second and 14. Second and 14. They'll find Everett there, complete. Oh, Everett. Some space here. Oh, Everett. Oh, shit. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard okay, line. Tight end's got some moves. A big play there on the catch and run. That was 56 crazy. yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. The last run got six, now second and four. Second and four. Throw for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Back to throw. Lawrence. Touchdown, Ben Gilman. Welcome to the team. Wait, what? Catch good for huh? six yards, but now... Uh, hold up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna challenge that. Third and goal. <laughs> that looks like when a touchdown. He touch sees zone defense, and he knew you got a drag route right right on into as the your end primary zone. call. You gotta be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. He went into the end zone. See? All right, they counted it good. I was going to say. And the challenge pays dividends. The ref overturns the play. Everyone gets a bonus on this one, Brandon. The coach upstairs who says his signal down and said challenge it, and the head coach for pulling the red flag. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Jalen, are you going to comment below? Or? This is taken at the three. Turn here, he gets it out to the 25 yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Yeah, I can't. Throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. To throw on second down. McKenzie, Get that out of here. Ram's a good shit. Incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And as a first rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of good shit, guys Samuel. bringing him along slowly, those days are long gone. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right oh, away. Shit, they're gone. And the community's eyes and fan base, they'll be on you the entire way. They added a lot of 
talent to a roster that really Wait, needed is this like a 65 yard field goal? They got a very good infusion of yeah, view. And they didn't really reach to get anywhere. Like a 67 yard field goal or something like that. They got the best players they could at the time they were drafting and inserted them into their lineup. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44 yard line. On first down, Ross. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. He's brought down there by Kenny Moore. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. That was good, tough running right up the middle. If the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Looking to throw. Lawrence. Oh, my God. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Oh, Brings up second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again. Lawrence. He's going to walk through on, the deep left side here. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And Gotta hit that target, man. Damn. That incomplete as well. That was open. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit a partner. You mean like uh, kicking them all? Exactly. Well, that was a high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And the Colts getting ready to go. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position, the ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold it. Throwing to start the drive. McKenzie, he'll find Taylor. That's complete. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll run it. It's Mack. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. They'll try and run for this with Mack. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's a first down following a gain of three. They run the draw play with Mack. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Back to throw. McKenzie, that's complete to Jack Doyle, the tight end. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Looking to throw. McKenzie, wow, and his throw here is incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Here's Mack. Good shit, Johnson. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. Off the play fake. McKenzie. No nice. escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. 
looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone could go after the quarterback in their defense, and you can see how they've all absorbed their lessons. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Thank you, man. Nice. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Off play action. Morris. I had, I had. Down he goes. Jadavian Clowney, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Back to throw. Lawrence. Oh, shit, he got me on that one. Picked up by Malik Hooker, and he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. Damn. Yeah, tough game. Good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. It was the linebacker Leonard Floyd on the stop. Looking to throw on second down. McKenzie caught here by Bell. That was and good he'll be blocked down. Though. It looks like right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This quarterback now, 9 of 11 passing in this first half. Down. He's got his guys in first and 10. And the reinforcements come in. They have a really good run defense this year. I'm the line. Our path even That'll set him better. back with a loss of three on the play. Not like terrible. And it'll bring up the second and 13. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mack. And able to break one tackle, like we'll, we'll but make one really good play and we'll let him a big play down here. Give him four on the carry there, but that only takes him back to where they started. Third and ten. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon, the lineman, certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. That's going to set him back five yards. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. From the gun, McKenzie. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Fucking goddamn, I knew he was taking yards, more yards, but not good enough for a first down. It's so, fourth. No field, Partner, okay. he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down oh, he and avoids it. the hit for good measure. Kicker's garbage. So it's a second missed field goal here in this first half. He'll have to think about that going forward. Maybe time for a little soul searching as well. Yeah, the head coach might be looking towards the heavens because you wonder if this will affect the fourth down decision making going forward. If you get fourth and three, kind of a bad fourth throw, and four, throw. situations that used to be calls for the kicker might get a second thought. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. All right, Claypool, I want you to beat that corner, man. That press face. Why Wide open. Bam. Touchdown. Touchdown, LA. These guys are in for six. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. I wonder what their kicker is. This will not be returnable. Is. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And last time out, another missed field goal, so maybe their confidence wavering a little bit right now in the kicking game. And I'm with you on that. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run it back out there in a Why tough situation. But let's face it, they may All right, have um, to. So right now, the head coach is right talking now. to the offense coordinator and saying, that call happened. this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's try and take the field goal out of it. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Now a carry for Mack. And he's taken down inside the 30. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, 
but the running game worked in that situation, I would continue to go in that direction. Looking to throw. McKenzie, he'll buy some time right. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Off the play fake. McKenzie. That was not able intentional to hook up there incomplete. But all right. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple of weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it. Precise, because if you're at 70% or better. Oh, nice hit, Ramsey. You have the job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? See if this guy can face, it's not just West Coast on either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. All right, make that this one, one, one is three. right through. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when I left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's good. 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 And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Second and five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run. Sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable. Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down. And that's exactly nice. Oh, he, he dropped it. Throwing on first down. He's got to get past that, that, that corner be better. So after the pass. incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw again. Lawrence. That's bad. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Damn, the defense is pretty good. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll Got to make that happen. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a game. Open up the playbook. Play go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Michael Brockers in on the stop. Back to throw. McKenzie, and now he's going to use his legs. And he taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. So from Rams territory, it's first and 10 down. at the 44-yard Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, my God. Donald just his fucking killed the running back. All right, whatever works. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. A gain of three, second down. To throw on second down, Lawrence. Touchdown, Benzel Mims again. He's got him in the end zone. Welcome to the end zone. Second touchdown. In for the score. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. The fly route works for the TD Graham. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, 
we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the strike. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll -no. <laughs> see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Well, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Nice stop. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. Nice no to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. On third down, a run by Matt. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in what well, you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week. You must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. I think you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Patrick Owasor came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been oh, there this afternoon. Yeah, now, meanwhile, here's a there. second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Lawrence firing quickly here, and that's complete. So we reach half. We now proceed to the start of the second half. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And it was somewhat of a strange first half. He threw three interceptions, yet you look at the scoreboard, they got the lead. So you know what I think he did ah. at the half? He stood up in front of the team, especially in front of the defense, and said, thank you. Appreciate what you've done. You guys have picked me up in a big way. And guess what? I'm going to get back to being who I am, which is pretty darn good. Let's go for the second half. On second down, it's Rollins. And he's going to be there, met really. at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Cooper Cup can get off the corner. On third down, Lawrence. Man, open nice. his cup. He's got it. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's oh, going to have. He can go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. After the incomplete pass here now, be second and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. And a throw ah. there going to be incomplete. 
The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man one. was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Oh, I got it. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. On first down, McKenzie. That's complete. It's bad. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. This a give to Mack running to the uh, right. Shedding the tackle and it gives him some room. Tackle, 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 right. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Hmm. Oh, I think like all. On first and ten, McKenzie over the middle complete. That's Bell. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Quick throw here oh, to Hilton. T.Y. Hilton, nobody to beat. Touchdown, Indianapolis. T.Y. Hilton, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Colts are able to draw a bit closer. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 30. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they've got to make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Oh, shit, got him. Let's go. They thought they were going to come back. A big play there. With two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Back to throw. McKenzie toward the center Terrible of the ball. field, but it's incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Um, Looking to throw. McKenzie into the hands of his running back, Marlon Mack. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. From the gun, McKenzie. This one into the hands of Burton. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now a run with back. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now we've got whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. 
And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. Rolling to his running. He can run for it and he will. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 45-yard line. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on? Well, I fall nice on to endear it. yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. On second down now. Got him. It's Mac. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Operating from the gun, McKenzie. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 27-yard line. This quarterback now... A perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Back to throw. McKenzie. Intercepted by McDougal. And, 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 and a face mask. Picked off by Brad McDougal. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. They'll have a first down past the 40. Oh, shit. Gets it across oh, okay. the 50 and down to the 48. 23 yards, the final tally. This is one of those plays that has an equal chance of either being a big gain or a big loss. But with the college influence, we're seeing more of these plays come into the NFL. Looking to throw. Lawrence. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On the draw, it's Pollard. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there. Making the defense think it's going to be a pass. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Here's second and eight. He's got a rifle one deep left side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. From the gun, Lawrence. Nice catch, this Pollard. This time he's got the hookup, it's complete. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call it, not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Play for another touchdown. All right, I think I'm going to send it after this. Touchdown grab. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're... And that's the end of the game right there. <laughs> Damn, we still, they still haven't scored on us. Oh, there they go. 54. We put up 94. Big like, offensive explosion oh, help leading points, them yeah. to victory. And the defensive guys, put up like they're just saying, hey, points on put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.
Denzel Mims so for went Los off, Angeles, bro. They use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2 and 0. And they'll get another home date game next game. week as the Jaguars will come to town. Meanwhile for the Colts, they'll fall to 1 and 1. And they'll get a chance like to redeem more themselves than that. at yeah, home. Play next week. Three touchdowns, 125 yards. Pollard did good. And for Charles game. Davis and Everett our entire good. crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been catch, watching the fine. NFL on EA Sports. Donald was good. We had two picks, Burns and McDougal. We're good. I think that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. If you like it, if you liked it, like and subscribe and all that shit. I'll be back with another one probably tomorrow. Peace out.